Christ loves you, he is your friend and he is concerned over your soul. And that's why today we are at East Ham Station to declare that God loves you very much, he is concerned over your soul. He is concerned over everything what you do and Jesus is coming back very soon because he loves you very much. He doesn't want your soul to perish here because life on this planet earth is not guaranteed. Anytime from now anything can happen and today once again as the surrender the people of East Ham that Lord you will speak through them through your Holy Spirit. Let your presence continue to lead them Lord and let your name be glorified. Let them know Father God that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lord and today Lord Father that you will speak. Father let your name be glorified and that's why today we are here to declare that Jesus Christ loves you. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah and he is the soon coming King. And that's why we are here because we love you very much and we are concerned over your soul. The Bible says, what a man if you profit against the whole world or what a man can give an exchange of his soul. And today, my brother, my sister, we are living in a world full of darkness. We are living in a world full of wickedness. We are living in an evil world. Wherever we see there is bad news. Wherever you see people are dying, people are committing suicide. They are dying in accidents. They are dying in the hospital. Life is not sure. Life is not guaranteed. And that's why today we are here to declare that Jesus Christ loves you. He is the Savior. He is the Messiah. Because life is not permanent. Life is not guaranteed. Anytime from now, you can die. Because death will come anytime from now. And the question is, are you saved? Are you born again? Do you know Jesus? Because Jesus Christ came to save and seek the Lord. He came for you. He came for me. He came for everyone. And he loves you. And he is a friend who will never leave you. Nor will he forsake you. You have many friends in social media. You have many friends. But you will not get a true friend like Jesus. Because he said in his word. That he will never leave you. Nor will he forsake you. And that's why today we are here. To declare that God loves you very much. He is concerned over your soul. And he will never leave you. Nor will he forsake you. Because without Jesus Christ. You will land up in a place called hell. Because many people do not understand after death. Uh, there are two places where a person goes and the Bible speaks of life eternal. One is a place called heaven and one is a place called hell. And both are real. Today you may say I don't believe in such a place. But there is a place because the Bible speaks of it. Uh, and the Bible speaks of a rich man and the Bible speaks of a, a beggar called Lazarus. And both of them one day died. And the Bible says that the Lazarus was taken in the bosom of Abraham. But whereas the rich man was burning in hell fire. My brother, my sister, that's what it is. That's why come today. Jesus is calling you my name. He doesn't want your soul to perish. Life is not sure. Life is not guaranteed. Anytime from now, the rapture is going to take place. And Jesus loves you. We are not here to speak of religion. Because religion will take you nowhere. We are here to speak about Jesus who loves you very much. Who concern about your life. Who can change your life. Who can heal you of your sickness. He can heal you of your disease. He can deliver you from the power of darkness. He can deliver you from even witchcraft. And today he loves you very much. And that is the good news. The Bible says for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes in him shall not perish but have life eternal. And without Jesus we cannot have life eternal. Come today. Life is not guaranteed. Life is not guaranteed. Every minute, every second people are dying. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Tomorrow you are not sure that you will wake up and you will go to work. You are not sure that tomorrow you will wake up and go to school. Come today when there is hope. In a hopeless situation. Come today my brother, my sister. Jesus loves you. He did not come for religion. He came for everyone. He came for you. He came for me and he loves you very much. And he's concerned over your soul. He's concerned over your life. Because after death where will you make it? The Bible speaks of life eternal. Come today, my brother, my sister, because he is the way, he is the life, and he is the truth. There is only one way, and that's only through Jesus. Because on that day, your money will not save you, your business will not save you. You may be a very rich person, whoever you may be, does not matter. You may be a celebrity, but without Jesus Christ, you are lost. And that's why Jesus doesn't want you to land up in hellfire, because hell was not made for you. Hell was made for Satan and his fallen angels. But heaven is a beautiful place. It is for everyone. It is not for religion, my brother, my sister. We are not here to preach of religion. Religion will take you no way. We are here to speak about a person who came 2024 years back. 
on this planet earth who lived who suffered and he died and he rose from the dead and he's coming back and his name is jesus and he loves you very much and that's why we are here to declare the love of god and the bible says clearly that he loves you very much and he is the one who is concerned over your life only he can change your life he can change your story everyone has the story to tell but jesus only loves you very much and is concerned over your soul that's why he died on the cross of calvary he shed his precious blood and is coming back very soon do not be deceived by the devil by saying oh i don't need god but there is a god who created the heaven and the earth there is a god who created you in the womb of your mother and his name is jesus and he loves you very much because jesus christ did not come for religion religion was made by man but jesus christ is coming for a relationship he wants you to come back to him my brother my sister you cannot run away from god you can run away from people but you cannot run away from god because god is watching at you at this minute come today accept him my brother my sister it is your decision it is your choice whether you accept jesus christ or whether you reject him and today god loves you very much and that's why today we are at each temptation to declare the gospel we are here to declare that jesus christ loves you and is concerned over your life come today my brother my sister because we are living in a confused world we are living in a world of uncertainty we are living in a wicked and evil world wherever you watch in the television uh, there is always bad news in the youtube there is bad news you look at the newspaper you will only get bad news there is no good news people are killing one another people are dying every minute and every second they are committing suicide they are dying in accidents they are dying in the hospital they are dying in the care home my brother my sister life is not guarantee the life which you and i we are living uh, is very short any time from now you can die you can die even tonight uh. you can get a heart attack and you can die you're not guarantee of tomorrow morning my brother my sister you can cheat people but you cannot cheat death death will automatically come that will come that's why my brother before you die accept jesus christ as the lord and savior because he is the savior he is the messiah and he is the soon coming king jesus christ came to save and seek the lord he came for you and for me the bible says he was known as the friend of sinner because you and i are sinner the bible says for all the sin and for shortage of the glory of god no one is righteous no one is holy no one is good that's why we need god my brother my sister everyone need god this country needs god whether you are a celebrity or a rich person you need god and god loves you very much and is concerned over you my brother my sister accept jesus christ today he will take you to heaven he has promised us a place uh, call heaven heaven is a beautiful place my brother my sister it is for you it is for me it is for everyone that will accept jesus christ and how can you make it to heaven now uh, by confessing your sins uh, by believing in the name of jesus and by getting baptized in the name of jesus come today my brother my sister you can run away from people but one thing uh, remember you cannot run away from god any time from now that will come any time from now you can die in your sins uh, come today Jesus is calling us. Heaven is real. Hell is also real. God doesn't want you to land up in hell because hell was not made for you. Come today. He loves you very much, my brother, my sister. Whoever you are, whatever religion you may follow, does not matter. But one thing I can assure you that no one can love you as how Jesus loves you because His love is eternal. His love is unconditional. But the love of this world is selfish, my brother, my sister. He will never cheat over you. He will never betray you. He will never leave you. No, will he forsake you? When you call to him, he will answer. The Bible says, "Call to me in the day of trouble, and I will deliver you." Call to him. He will answer you, my brother, my sister. He will appear to you in a dream. He will appear to you in a vision. God will appear to you because God is not the God of the dead. He is not an idol that cannot see, that cannot talk, uh, that cannot save. And wherever it goes, it has to be carried up. He is the living God. He will answer you when you call Him, because you and I, we are the children of God. We have been created by God in His own image and in His likeness. My brother, my sister, today God loves you very much. His concern over you. Come today. Do not reject the gospel, my brother, my sister. any time from now if you die because if you miss heaven there is no way that you can miss hell 
and God doesn't want you to land up in a fire where you will be burning for life eternal. Because in hell there is no repentance, there is no mercy, there is no forgiveness. That's why come. God loves you very much. God is calling you by name. He knows everything about you, my brother, my sister. Come today because you and I, we all are sinners. We are not righteous, we are not holy. My brother, my sister, we all have sinned and fall shortage of the glory of God. If you are lying, you are sinned. If you are manipulating, you are sinned. If you are cheating people, you are sinned. Come today. He will deliver you from drugs. He will deliver you from alcoholism. He will deliver you from gambling. He will set you free because he loves you very much. Because you are a child of God. You belong to God. You don't belong to the devil. You don't belong to this world. Because God has created you, my brother, my sister. You have been created by God with a plan and a hope, sir. It is not science that has created you. It is not the theory of evolution that has created you. It is God has created you and God loves you very much. God is concerned over your life. He is concerned over your family. He is the one who can change your children. He can deliver you. He loves you very much as how he loves me. God does not show partiality. God does not show favoritism. God looks into your heart. Give your heart to Jesus, my brother, my sister. He will never leave you. He will never betray you. Come today to Jesus. He is calling you by name. Because there is no other name which salvation shall be attained. There is only one name that is higher than any other name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee will bow down and every mouth shall confess that Jesus is God. And that's why today we are here preaching the gospel because we love you very much. And we doesn't want you to, your soul to perish. We doesn't want you to land up in hellfire where you will be tormented by the devil. Where you will be burning up day and night by the devil. My brother, my sister, come today. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. Jesus is concerned over your soul. Because every person is made of three elements. One is called the body, one is called the spirit, and one is called the soul. And your soul will be judged. You will stand before Jesus, my brother, my sister. And he loves you very much. And is concerned over your life. Come today. Do not ignore the gospel, my brother, my sister. Do not reject Jesus. Because on that day when you will stand before the judgment seat, he may reject you. Come today, accept her. Because he is the light of the world. That whoever follows in him shall not walk in darkness, but shall walk in the light. And Jesus loves you very much. Whether you are a Hindu, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are a Sikh, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a Catholic, whether you believe in God or you don't believe. But Jesus loves you. Jesus is love. And that's what he said. Love one another as I loved you. That's why we do not hate you, my brother, my sister. We do not hate you, but we love you. Because you are God's creation. Because you have been created by God. You have been created by God in the womb of your mother. We are not here to speak about hate. We are here to speak about love. That Jesus Christ loves you, my brother, my sister. Only Jesus Christ can love you. No one else can love you, my brother, my sister. And that's what is the truth. You believe it or you do not believe. Come today to Jesus. He is calling you by name. He says, come to me all who labor and heavy laden. And I will give you rest. Take my yoke and lean upon it. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. Come today. Don't think of tomorrow. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. You're not guaranteed that tomorrow morning you will wake up from your bed and go to work. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Come today. He is calling you by name. He is calling you by name, my brother, my sister. They are at the bus stop. You are busy with your life. You are doing window shopping. You are going in the bus. You are traveling. You are going to the pub. You are going to the club. You are going to the disco. You are making new friends. But that all will stop one day. Because any time from now, you will die. Your time is already written on the wall. Your name is already written on the wall, my brother, my sister. Come today. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is calling you. Jesus can heal you of your sickness. You may be suffering from AIDS. Sir. You may be suffering from mental health. Sir. You may be suffering from diabetes. Sir. You may be suffering from uh, any disease. Sir. Jesus can heal you. Because he is moved with compassion. He can deliver you. He can set you free. Even from the power of darkness. Sir. Because God loves you very much. Come today. God is concerned over your soul, my brother, my sister. I do not know from which country you come. I do not know what language you speak. Huh? I do not know what is your religion. I do not know what is your tradition you believe. But one thing I can assure you, that Jesus loves you. Jesus is concerned over you. My brother and sister, come today. He is calling you by name. He knows your life. Do not reject Jesus. Come today. Accept him as the Lord and Savior. The Bible says clearly, come today. He is calling you, my brother, my sister. Do not ignore the gospel.
come today come today jesus is calling you by name uh, accept jesus christ as the lord and savior because without jesus christ you will not make it to heaven without jesus christ you will not make it to heaven because only he is the way he is the life and he is the truth there is only one way and that way is only through jesus christ there are no many ways my brother on that day your money cannot save you your business cannot save you by doing a lot of charity will not save you by thinking that you are a very good person will not save you or a nice person come today because no one is good no one is nice no one is righteous come today come today accept jesus christ as the lord and savior my brother and sister the bible says for those who believe and baptize shall be saved and those who do not believe they shall be condemned come today god loves you very much god bless you